Do you treat your dog as part of the family? <laughs> well, so do we. So why not celebrate your pup's birthday with the ultimate party box? Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Party Pup Info, and let us make your pup's party or any celebration perfection. The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by... Because wine is your second favorite four-letter word. California wine, New York attitude, good fucking wine. Yeah world of wrestling and a whole bunch more so what is the topic of discussion that is that we want to lead with you've got a smirk on your face so i'm gonna let you ride god dude what like i don't even know where to begin with this wrestlemania <laughs> i mean you could start with the obvious right like what a main event both yeah. nights yeah. roman's gonna break hogan's record on night one of uh, or he's gonna tie hogan's record of the most wrestlemania main events on That's night right. one and he's gonna break hogan's record on night two uh, that makes it easy for him to lose now. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't <laughs> it? We don't have to sit here and go, oh, he's got to pass Hogan's record. Now we can just get that out of the way, <laughs> you know, and we'll, get on with it. We'll ignore the title reign record. We'll just say, like, hey, that's the record we were talking yeah, about yeah. the whole time. Yeah, and he's no Hulk Hogan, by the way, but I figured I'd throw that in. Uh, uh, what you mean? What you mean? Uh, Roman Reigns is no Hulk Hogan. Well, I, I under, no, like, he's what do you not mean? Right, what do I, I mean? I get it he's not racist, but where are we going? Like, where are we going? Now, wait a say? minute. Are we going to keep this rated PG or are we going straight to R? No, no. What is going, no, brother? We, we, we are, what is going on here? No, Jimmy, we are not working blue today. I didn't think we <laughs> were. I don't even gonna think we're going to work green, come to think of it. But, I mean, my God. Yeah, well, you know, come on. He's no whole Oh, Kyle, how are you, buddy? I'm the Pharaoh. Pleased to meet you. All right. Uh, Attorney at law. Look, we, we all know what Hulk Hogan was to this business. Yeah. Roman Reigns has been great over the last several years, and that's great. But Hulk Hogan... Hogan of is course. Babe Ruth. Of course. Whether you like it or not. None he's of this Babe Ruth. The, the, the more, so, oh, the so more. would Roman Reigns be Shohei Otani? No. no. Who would Roman Reigns no. be? By think, the way, that comparison makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Otani is no Babe Ruth. He's, no, he's not even Ruth. All right, not All right. yet. Not yeah. yet. No, by the time right. it's said no. and done, man. 94 and 46 with a 2.28 lifetime ERA as a pitcher plus 714 home runs. So normally, no. so yeah. here's the thing. Otani is not Babe Ruth. Right, I know, but how many of those games did you watch? No, uh, Babe Ruth, none of them. None I of them, them right. And how right. many of those home runs do we know if they, like, was the ball bouncing over the wall? You know, that's kind of one of my things. And, and normally I'm always on the side of history. Okay. But the more that I've kind of dove into this is, like, honestly, I'm not as big of a fan of Babe Ruth as what I was when I was growing up. Interesting. The more that I've kind of read about it, I'm like, I'm more of like a Hank Aaron uh, okay. type of a guy. So, okay. and, and, and I'll use that argument a lot with, like, the LeBron James and right. uh, Michael Jordan arguments. Right. And it's like, man, it's two different areas. Eras. Yeah, but I think if we take guys and we put them back in Babe Ruth's era mm -hmm. from today's game, yeah. they're running all over. Yeah, they're them. crying about how hot the uh, wool <laughs> jerseys are, and they don't have cell phones, and they have to travel by train. And by the way, if you go to the Hall of Fame and, and you take a look at Babe Ruth's bat, yeah. it's a tree stump. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. All right. Hey, the guy was pretty go. strong. <laughs> that's pretty a pretty strong fella. That's a fair yeah. argument. Yeah. That is yeah. a very fair yep. argument. And if you if you brushed him with back with a pitch, he's not getting all, you know, <laughs> running, yeah. running to the mound yeah. you know they were they were kind of men back then Can yeah I, I, is it okay to say is that you're, is that pg hey did i do okay no we I are didn't. we are gender you recognizing utah last night <laughs> what are you talking about i would love to see it. shohei otani roll up to the dish with a cigarette in his mouth that was, yeah. hey, they, cool me too that that he would mean. just be so much cooler to me i wouldn't even care that he bets anymore they always no. used to get mad at me at softball when i would do that They're like you can't do that here i'm like i'm trying to emulate one of the greatest That's of all right. times and they go into the plate with this hair hey bon jovi <laughs> 25 years I listened to that. Hey, Bon Jovi. We're not here without Babe. We're hey, not here without not, Hogan. We're not. That's you know, where this all There you go. Let me bring this back to wrestling. Yeah, please. Just for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could go down this Babe Ruth road for an hour or two. Um, I think the interesting thing to me is the WWF originally, WWF right. into the WWF into mm -hmm. the WWE, mm -hmm. for a long time was based on long face champion runs, yes. which was unique. Yes. Because, you know, so many of the NWA and all those were heel long runs, mm -hmm. and to me that made more sense, but... Roman Reigns approaching all of these records, the guys that he's beating were all long face runs. You just right. don't see that. No. 
and even nowadays. So I think that's just very different, very impressive yes. in, in what he's done because it's such a stark contrast to what the history of that organization was. Yeah. I think it's been great to have a champion for a long time. Yeah. I, belts have become watered down. They don't mean as much, but now they're starting to mean something again. Yeah. Roman Reigns with this long reign, Gunther, Absolutely. breaking the all-time intercontinental Absolutely. title. Oh, did I say intercontinental title? Oh, there so it what is. What do we got right there? Yeet. What do we got? Real no, yeet. Uh, no, no, we're yeet. not yeet. No, we're not <laughs> yeeting. What is going on here? Oy. I think that does look good, though. It Thank does. It really yeah. does. She's it pretty. Does. It's retired, by the way. They, yeah, they, they got the black strap back. This was my favorite title, like, yeah. ever. I, I've only let uh, two people sign this one, The Miz and Kofi Kingston. you gotta find. You got to find Morocco and Valentine. That's, yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's, that's what true. you need to that's, do. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. true. Get some old school cigs on that. Absolutely. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so look, I mean, I, let's I mean, let's take this first segment. Let's go through night one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, let, sure. let's look at what it is. Uh, I'm so in. Uh, I think what what is it? We expect the uh, Rey Mysterio, Dragon Lee, or Santos and Dirty Dom to start more than likely, I, or I, has, or has that changed? So I think they released the, the full order, and I sent it oh. to Dave earlier. Okay, let's look uh, at that. Um, I believe Rhea and Becky are opening really are opening nice. WrestleMania, and it's crazy because wow. uh, Motionless and White plays yeah. uh, plays Rhea Ripley's song, and mm-hmm. I think they have confirmed that they will be playing her out this wow. year. Wow, oh, cool! And so that's a. Uh, that's kind of really cool, man. I, I and that's just right if, out of the if gate. That's not a Triple H flex, right? Then I don't know what is. Well, right. well you always want to get the crowd hot right out of the gate, and that'll look, do it. That'll yeah. certainly do it. Yeah. And what what's the old line in wrestling? If you're not going on last, go on first, right? You know, so right. I guess that makes sense because uh, be we, we all know they're not going to headline. I mean, whether they should or not doesn't matter. When you've got the Rock involved and and <laughs> Seth and <laughs> Cody and Roman, that's just, a headline. That's not up for debate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so. the biggest main event of all time. All right, yeah. well, let's start with that one because that's the one. I'm. It's one of the matches I'm the most interested in. Rhea and Charlotte stole the show last year. It yes. was my favorite match of the whole two days. It really was. And I mentioned this to you guys last night, Jimmy. Mm-hmm. I'm a little bit worried. I've built this up too much in my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't. I know Becky's great. She really is. She, they're going to bring it. She doesn't. She doesn't do this match for me the way Charlotte does. Charlotte is a physical equal to Rhea in a way that Becky just isn't. Right now, you can tell a different yep. story, but I think I think we have to agree that Rhea goes over. But do they shock us right out of the gate? They better not. You're ruining all everything you've built up with Rhea. I don't think I don't. Th- you know what's weird? Oddly enough, in real life, I bet you Becky give her a fight. Becky is from the tough part of, of across the pond. Oh, Becky sure. is tough, legitimately tough. But I mean, I think just think it ruins Rhea if you do that. I think we've thrown uh, believability out the window for a long time now. Sure. And I use that. I use that very loosely. No, I, I mean, Cody and Seth standing on the other side of the ring from The Rock tomorrow night. It's there, there's no belief. Like The Rock should be able to rip them both in half, e- like right. easily. Gunther and Sammy, same story, right? right so believability right. goes out the window. Um, I, I I am excited to see Becky shine. Uh, just because it's been so long since she's been given that opportunity sure. to do so, and I think people have forgotten just how good Becky Lynch really is in the ring, and I, uh, you know, discredit a lot of that to Vince McMahon, the way he treated the women's division for sure. a long time, sure. and uh, what, but, like igniting the women's revolution and giving them their first pay per view when no other company would even think about it. you. Leave Vince well, you alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave Vince alone. You're right. He never treated women with anything. <laughs> never <laughs> sit still. Anyway, oh, nah, man, hey, I mean, I, I, I'm. With you guys, though, you can't you, you can't take the Rhea hype away right now. I think it's right. got to be more of a right. Jade Cargill situation. Somebody that I do agree can match her physically because yeah. it's not just about size at that point; it's about strength and right. everything. There and you, you build right. Rhea to build to right. be a monster. So, well, let's pivot out of that into another match on the first night: Bel Air, Cargill, Naomi, and uh, against Damage Control. Um, golly, I mean, you would think Bianca and Jade and and Naomi would go over here. But, you know, damage control doesn't need the win. But I don't know. I just sense I sense them. It, they're jumping the gun. They need to, to delay this. The money match here is Jade and Bianca. We all know they're setting it up. I can see some cracks forming in this match that starts telling that story. That's why I think damage control might steal one here. I'm kind of right there with you. I, I think that's... Just- 
maybe that's just because nobody that's not what anybody wants. I think this sure. will be a cool off match. You know how you get you're gonna get those at WrestleMania. Yep. yep. Um yeah, I, I'm with you on that. I, I think so. Um I don't necessarily know. I think the riff will start. I don't think the match will start getting teased until probably closer to SummerSlam. You're not gonna put that at a at a backlash or anything like that. Yeah, I think damage control needs to get the win, quite honestly. What do they do if they lose? What do you what do you do with them from there? You, we're, we're trying to enforce and enhance them and always say, look at how powerful they are. Right. If they run the show, I don't think they should be losing. Right. But, you know, we'll see if we get a curveball. I, th- I think both days have a match that I-, I think could have been built better. And for me on day one, it's Jay versus Jimmy. Um, Man. I- I'm not a Jay guy. I know. I know. Ye- no ye. No ye. No ye. I- I- I'm not. But I understand it. I'm eating all I, over I, myself I, I, over I, here. I see that. You need a towel? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You clean yourself off with of all that yeet? I, I, I understand it. I just, I don't know. I, I can't say I'm invested in this story. And look, The Rock and everything with that has sucked all the air out of the room. I get that. And, mm-hmm. it, and it does. And I think Mike is the one who brought it up. It's the biggest focus on the main event probably since Andre Hogan. Right. I mean, that was everything in three. And there were great matches in three. Right. So this could be something. They're both athletic. They're both fun to watch. Uh, I'm more a Jimmy guy than a Jay guy, but I just don't know. This this match doesn't interest me as much as I think it should. I really think they missed a golden opportunity to to hype this up a little more, and that was like The Rock's run-in with Jay this past Monday. Yeah. Um, I thought they had a really good opportunity for The Rock to maybe like pull Jay into the ring as well. Like, you turn on our family, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. let Jimmy get in there with the lashes as well. You really could have done a much better job. I, I don't disagree with that. I mean, I'm excited for the match. Right. They're brothers. They're going to beat the hell out of each other. They yep. have their whole lives. It's going to be <laughs> fun. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm with you on that. I can't disagree. But I think Jimmy needs it more. Jay, Jay is just over the top right now. And, J- Jimmy needs a little bit of that rub. It's interesting that he says that because after last night, I started thinking about it. What is the only other match that you can really think about with the brothers? It was Owen and Brett. Who won that match? Owen. Did you think he would have beforehand? No, but no. it was exactly the right he story. Needed it, well, so, and, and that's you know. a good point because let uh, look, they're smashing Jay over. We know, and and they're gonna they're gonna put a belt. Oh, on Oh, people him. just like going like this. Well, they do. But what hey, are you talking that, about? That sells tickets, baby. It sure they're does. They're gonna put a belt on Jay this year. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. The problem is if Jay goes over Jimmy here, what do you do with Jimmy? That's right. that's the big issue. So right. I, I would like to see Jimmy come through just so they have something to right. go with. With a heat and tag team? Or? Right. But if Jay's headed for a, a world title shot or, or, or an intercontinental title shot, is it really in his best interest to be losing here? Yeah, see, that's... Don't you that's, love that's, it? But that's what makes this great. Yeah. I'm really not totally sure. Gunther and Sami Zayn, mm. the odd couple of, of WrestleMania, to be honest. I This match just kind of materialized out of nowhere. They did the little goofy Rocky Three thing that started out really cringe, and then I kind of was laughing by the end. They did it about as well as you could. I, 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 I've said for a while I'm worried they're going to do something with Priest here to try and get the belt off Gunther. It would be a disaster. But outside of that, there's no way we see Sami Zayn taking this from Gunther, do we? I, it's really hard for me to think that Gunther's going to lose this. I, I say this soon, but tomorrow will be, what, 666 days? Oh, yeah. I also don't think they want to say that out loud, like, hey, they broke his record, 666-day title yeah, reign. Yeah, fair enough. Um, kind of cool. Vin- yeah, 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 no. Vince I mean, would. And never would. Yeah. As an Iron Maiden <laughs> fan, as an Iron Maiden fan, I don't mind that. That's okay, 666. I'm, oh, sorry. Yeah, anyway. th- this match, man, I have... Um, I would say just about literally zero hype for. I know it'll be good. They're two of the best in the business right now. Um, mm. I, I, I do think Sammy is going to end up going over, sadly, really? which I think would be bad for Gunther. Yeah, um, I agree. Unless it doesn't make sense. I was going to say unless there's some Gable involvement somewhere, somehow, but I, I just don't think there's enough time. Yeah, Gunther retains and Gable screws Sammy. Interesting. There it is. Okay. That, that could be interesting. Yep. There's the involvement. Gunther should not be losing the title. I, I think they missed the boat. I think Gable and Gunther could have been a, a great. They built that up beautifully this year. They could have finished it here, and it wouldn't have taken any shine off Gunther. It wouldn't because mm. it was such a. 
you know, we're talking about fake stuff. It was such a heart wrenching story. It really was. What it was did you just story. call it? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, don't use that word. Predetermined. Okay, that's better. I feel that's better now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you got me a little hot. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You don't want him coming that's over right. the table. That's Look right. at the size I'm, of this I'll guy. I'll break the table on the way there. But probably yeah. will. Just remember, really? I don't have to outrun you two. I just got to outrun David. Oh, boy. Which isn't going to happen. That's not happening. Smoking them lungs are in bad shape. Pretty quick. You get to the door, he's done. All right. So the last match. I mean the Ray match, whatever it's what it is. Yeah. The the last match, the headliner on night one, the tag match, um, Seth and Cody versus Rock and Roman. I mean, there's an obvious way this goes, but I'm not so sure obvious is going to be this WrestleMania. This needs to be the night where if if anybody's going to debut in the bloodline, like the Tomatonga signing mm -hmm. that they made, if mm. they are going to add somebody to the bloodline, it needs to happen night one and it needs to happen in this match. Mm. Um, I, in order for night two to be as fun and as interesting as night one is, Rock and Roman have to win. Yeah. Now, here's the bad part about that. This is where the catch-22 comes in because... Seth's going to lose night two. Yeah. So Seth is going to lose back-to-back -back nights. Seth is going to take two losses. Seth's going to lose back-to-back -back matches because he opens night two, Seth and Drew. And I, I don't – that's just so bad for, in my opinion, the most talented guy on the roster. Do you all and, think that it's a possibility that The Rock turns on Roman Reigns? And At this point, I don't think so. Okay. But I think they're going to tease the heck out of it. And I don't think he will. Cody needs to go into night two with every last odd stacked against him. He, okay, I agree. this is the this is the completion of the story. This is the fruition of his his patience and his hard work and and his vow to fulfill his father's you know unfulfilled championship aspirations. This is where it's it's supposed to happen. Rock and Roman will go over. They will go over. And Cody will have all odds stacked against him tonight. And Priest is going to cash in his money in the bank. And that will end up being the final match of the night on night one. So it'll wow. be Damian Priest winning the world championship going in. And then it's going to throw a night two into complete chaos. Do, you know, because I know that Drew wants to get a hold of Seth Rollins, but he also wants to get a hold of that title. And I think that whenever that happens, uh, I don't foresee that uh, maybe maybe Seth will be in. Maybe uh, they'll have a triple threat match then because they're forced. They've had their hand forced by the whole Money in the Bank contract match because you know Drew still got to get his his match in for the world title. So and I don't foresee Seth winning it back on night two if he were to be in a triple threat with Damian Priest. Interesting. So. Uh I, I had kind of thought about um, the possibility of kind of almost the same kind of thing, but where The Rock, the Rock's been very adamant to Seth Rollins about, I'm going to make that title disappear, right? And so they, after the match, they continue to beat down, and he grabs the microphone, and he's like, Seth, I told you I'm going to make your title disappear. So night two starts early, our main event tonight, because we saw that little backstage segment where Drew McIntyre was talking to Paul Heyman. He brings out McIntyre. They do the match right then and there. Bloodline stands tall. McIntyre also with him. New world champion. Then night one, night two starts with maybe a rematch. And, but I, I like your idea, too. I think um, if there's ever been a WrestleMania where some crazy stuff's going to happen, this is this is the one. It and should the, be the one. the flashback that comes from the cash-in at the end of the night, Seth. now it being with Seth Rollins on the receiving end of that cash-in versus being on the beneficiary end of it, uh, I think that's a long-term storytelling deal. You don't get any better than that. So, boss, is it safe to say that you do not sing the, the Rollins song when he comes out and you're watching at home? <laughs> uh, no, no. I've got better things to do with my time. I could, I need to go, like, watch paint dry or go watch the grass not grow not or something fan. of that nature. Uh, I'm a, I agree with the final boss and say that, yeah, this guy is a walking clown emoji. Fair enough. I, I think another interesting way they could do it is exactly the way they did it with Seth. Hmm. Where Drew and, and Seth are both down, and all of a sudden, here comes Damien. You want to talk about hot shot in the night for night two? Mm -hmm. That could work, too. I don't know. No, yeah, I don't we disagree with you at all. Punk will be on commentary. He's uh, somebody who's synonymous yeah, with money see. in the bank cash-ins as well. So it's, yeah. yeah. 
All right, guys. Well, I appreciate y'all having me on to be a part of y'all's show for a couple minutes. But, man, I'm really looking forward to WrestleMania this week. And, uh, man, you guys are putting on a great show. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. You're welcome. All right, bye. All right. What else we got night two? Uh, let's get into let let's get through a couple of these quick here. Uh, EO Sky and Bailey. Oh, everybody's going to be pulling for Bailey. Uh, this seems tailor made, which is why it scares me. Does Bailey go over here? I think so. I, I, it's been too long. Yeah, I agree. Bailey should and, win, and she needs her WrestleMania moment. She yeah. hasn't. Really she has had not had like one. That. No, That's right. No. So, good for her. Uh, LA Knight AJ Styles is the other match I think really missed yeah. the build. <laughs> Uh, I know they tried, but it just didn't work. Yeah. Uh, obviously, L.A. Knight did not get to feature last year. I thought they should have had him come out and mess with The Miz on night two instead of Shane McMahon blowing his quads out. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Shane McMahon. But, yeah, everybody forgets that one. Maybe he comes down again and does it again. That'd be hilarious. But, <clears throat> but anyway, no, I, I, L.A. Knight probably gets to win here. A.J.'s at the stage in his career where... He wants to put over guys, and I think that's probably what happens here. I, I don't disagree with you again, man. You hit the nail on the head. This is a match that really could have had a more fun of a build. I think they've they've tried, but for some reason it's not clicking. Uh, this really feels like the kind of match that should have been the Philadelphia Street Fight that they mm. used that for that six man tag match. Yeah, um, but just a regular match after all the fight, like. The, the fighting at AJ's house that they did with mm. the cops involved. And then yesterday at the press conference or uh, L.A. Knight attacked AJ Styles again. Like, it, with all of that, man, to have a one-on-one -on -one just regular sanctioned match just feels wrong for this. And uh, I, I think, actually, Styles goes over. It's It's been a long time for AJ as well. Um, I think he's coming on the tail end of his career, and I think he's going to have one more run towards the top. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. I I would love to agree with you in spirit because I'm actually offended at the thought of AJ having to lose to LA right. Knight. But what do you do with LA Knight? The fans love him. He's very over. Not particularly with me, but he's very over. And I feel like he's the one that business wise needs to get the win. And you're right. AJ's in the position nowadays where he's pulling a Nakamura. Nakamura's yeah. in the same position. Yeah. He's a guy who's been around a long time. You know how great he is. But he puts people over nowadays. Let's face yeah. it. So really, it's really all about what the future plans are after WrestleMania. And L.A. Knight needs to have a future plan, needs to win this match. You're not going to steal the show on a night where you have two heavyweight championship matches. Mm -hmm. But the one that could be the talking point is, the, as far as, as, as exceeding expectations, Logan Paul, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens. This could be a lot of fun, yes. guys. I am... Um I have to like may I've become a Logan Paul fan. Thank you. I was gonna say you. I, I mean, I've got. I, am I allowed to do this? Yeah, I, like, sorry. Really. But, yeah, but if you put it, in, wait sponsor. a minute. If you put that in the middle of the ring, I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> Whoa, you, you better <laughs> get, you ready, get ready for tomorrow night. I'm gonna be mad. You better get ready for tomorrow night. Get that logo Dude, out of the middle I, of the ring. What I, are we doing here? I could not like. Uh, I, I grew up in the generation of Vine, right? That, yeah. that was huge when we were coming up through high school, mm -hmm. and couldn't stand the Paul brothers. Really, either one of them. Now, and then I got to a point where I'm like, okay. I respect these guys grinds Logan Paul's going to WWE that's that's like my thing like I'm not really cool with that and then he got there and he has been he's just great. great incredible yeah he is great. a WWE superstar yes, man it's is. like he was built to do this yep. he cares about it he's constantly in the performance center yep. trying to get better he is getting better he's finally getting some love from the fans if you watch Pat McAfee today they mm -hmm. were chanting his name and it's mm -hmm. like he's like confused yeah. this is the first time anybody's ever done this for him and looks great Yes. Talks great. Yes. Can go. Yep. Yeah. He's got the personality. He's got the three. The he, charisma. He needs to carry the belt forward. Probably lose it at SummerSlam. I'm not sure to who yet, but I think they can play an interesting angle here and spin off Kevin and Randy getting a good program mm -hmm. out of this. Somehow something happens. That gives them something to do for a couple of months. Right. I think that this would be match good. is only going to enhance what Logan Paul's building here. Working with those two. Yeah. KO and Randy. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be great. I'll be. I'll be perfectly honest. The set Seth and Drew match to me is the biggest mystery in my mind of what they could do mm. because Damien could play a factor. Seth has a terrible record at WrestleMania. He could get something and carry it forward and we keep playing up the Drew angle. Mm -hmm. Drew could get you know, screwed by CM Punk somehow. Or Drew needs the win. Has Drew signed his contract? There's a million different things going on right. here. I don't know I what's going to happen. 
I, mean, I love it. What do, I mean, we talked a little bit about this, but what do you guys see happening in this match? I, I truthfully, I think my my real prediction is that Priest will cash in. I think Punk uh, cost Drew the match. Drew beats uh, Punk and Seth down after the match, so Seth retains against Drew. And then, um, and then that's when Priest comes down and catches in is after Drew runs through Punk and Seth. So that's when. Uh, Interesting. That so that's really what I think is going to happen in that match. I, I feel that you know, although it seems like Drew should win the match again, I go with what's in the future. What's good for business? What's good for business is CM Punk sitting at ringside and screwing Drew. Yeah. Period. Rollins wins. Rollins is money. He's gold, and there's no reason to take the belt off him right now. There really isn't. It's not stale. The fans absolutely adore him with that whoa, whoa, whoa stuff, you know. It's amazing what a song can do for you, huh? It is. Yeah. It really is. I mean, you get the right tune, the next thing you know, you're a legend. Or you're going like this. Yeet, yeet, yeet. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on half the time. I got with, involved. I have, with the, with the, well, you wore the shirt. You dude, asked for it. My, my, I, my I, son has just be like fell in love with Jey Uso, so I think cool. it's kind of forced me to do the so, same thing. I, I, cool. I, I, I can foresee Jimmy taking a power bomb through the table here pretty soon. That's so. all right. I can take bumps. It's okay. <laughs> He'll have a field day with me. I weigh about as much as a toothpick. So go, go for it. Go. What, am, right. what am I saying? Wait a minute. So I tried to save enough time. I think we yeah. have it. Okay. It, obviously, this may not have started the way they wanted it, although I think a mm -hmm. little more of this was done than a lot of people. It was, it was clearly some level of pivot. Yeah. The Rock has been on his game like it's 1999 again. Oh, I yeah. mean, he's that good. Uh, Roman has played this well. You don't really know what's going on in the back of his head. He's kind of looking at some things. Who knows what Heyman's going to do going forward? Could Seth turn on Cody? Those two have hated each other a long time. Does Cody finish the story? There's a lot going on here. Yeah. Um, I, I've got my thoughts. I'm curious what y'all think. Let, let's go all the build up and just the excitement you have for it, and then what do we think happens? I, I mean... This is it, man. This is really, I don't know how they did this two years in a row because uh, I'm with CM Punk. I hate when the same match main events right. WrestleMania, not only twice in general, but two years in a row. But here I am. Like, yeah. I'm excited for this match. Like, even beyond the tag team match, like, and obviously that the results of that match could completely change how I feel about this match going in. But if, if what I think is going to happen, right, if it happens with the bloodline rules and it's going to be just a total, can't say the word, you know, blank show, yeah. night two, that's beautiful. That's good for television. That's good for the pay per view. Um, I, th I think that it has to happen. Uh, not only is it gonna happen, Co Cody winning. Cody has to yeah. win. It, it, they if they miss the mark with Cody now, th this would be. I, I'll go ahead and say that th this would be their biggest swing and miss that the WWE has ever done. In my in my time as a yeah, fan, I was gonna say least. since turning Austin heel, right? Yeah, so Ooh, I, yeah, I, that was a bad one. And yeah. I say that in the in the sense of Co Cody's got the next generation of WWE fan ready. Yeah. And it's like they're they're ready, man. Just like Cena did. Cena had the next generation. We're I'm the Cena generation, right? And I'm yep. still here. That next generation, they're wearing the Cody tattoo. They're wearing the clothes. Go ahead. I don't yeah, well, want you to let, run out let me of time. take this first because your theory that I heard last night is is one of the best I've heard yet. So I'm going to let that close. I actually think Roman's going over here. I really do. I think Cody works significantly better as a chaser. Now, that being said, there was some air let out of the balloon last year when he didn't go over. It was salvaged by the crowd at Backlash. And then they told beautiful stories. But all the while, Triple H has said, we're telling a long story here. He said it in the press conference after last year. I think Roman goes over here. I don't know exactly how, but I think so. But I'll be honest, Jimmy, your theory is better than any I've heard. So let's have it. All right, here we go. This is really about you can't play the boy cried wolf for too long, okay? Cody needs to needs to finish his story. If you do not let Cody finish his story, you have rendered him valueless, okay? Yeah. If you won't be able to look at him the same way. This is would be the boy who cried wolf. No title reign's ever going to be good. It, yeah. it's, it would be it would, to me it would be very illogical, not to sound like a Vulcan, but it would be very illogical. Okay, so you got the bloodline rules as I've established from what I feel is going to happen on That's night right. one. That's All right, so the Rock does come out at some point. Cody's got the belt. He's right within the grasps of having that belt. Here comes the Rock. Okay, a couple of Rock bottoms. Roman covers him. Kick out. Whoa, he kicked out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's still alive. He's still going. Okay, Triple H. 
comes out, hits Cody with a pedigree. Oh, my God, what's going on Triple here? Triple H hits Cody? Oh, yeah. Hits okay. Cody with a pedigree, getting back to what you said was planted, right? Okay? And it's at this moment where we make the old generation of fans happy and we make the new generation of fans happy, the glass crashes. And Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out and hits Roman Reigns with the good old stunner, takes Cody's lifeless body and throws it on top of Roman Reigns. Ow. And the place... <laughs> by the way, that was a Pepsi can, folks. The place goes berserk. Yeah. And when Cody comes to, he realizes the belt's in front of him, and he goes straight to Mama Rhodes. 